Hello everyone, welcome to Apache 8 4 minute videos for developers. In this video, we are going to see how developer app setting works in Apache Drupal based developer portal. Prerequisites for this video, you need Apache 8 account. You need access to Apache 8 uh, developer portal which is based on Drupal as well as administrator access to the Drupal developer portal. Let's get started. As you can see, I'm logged in as a developer portal administrator. Once you logged in as administrator, you see administrator menu on top of the screen. Before we go into developer portal application settings, let's take a look at uh, add app screen. Go to my apps and click on add app to see the app creation form in developer portal. Once the developer creates an app, he will get access to the keys using which he can able to make an API calls. In this video, we're going to see what are the various settings that will affect the add app screen that you see in developer portal. To quickly see the settings, go to configuration, the portal, and then click on application settings. In this page, uh, we're going to see various settings that will change the behavior of uh, add app form uh, in the add app screen. Let's uh, take a look at API product settings first. Uh, first setting is related to API product handling. How do you want to display the API products in the add app screen? For example, if you choose uh, do not associate apps with any API product, then the, the product field will be removed from the add app screen. This will be useful uh, if you want to do some uh, customization and do not want to display the products uh, to the end user. Choose this and click on save changes. And if you refresh uh, the add app screen, you will no longer see the product uh, field in the app creation form. As you can see, now product field is gone. If you select associate all apps with one or more default API products, then these products will be automatically assigned to the app that the user creates. For example, if I choose API hello and uh, let's say mock product. So these products will be automatically assigned whenever user creates a new app. I'm going to create the uh, default app 112 and give some random callback URL. If I uh, see the app that created that got created, then you will find those product got assigned automatically. As you can see, API follow and mock product got assigned automatically. Similarly, if you select all selections of single API product but do not require it, then it will allow you to pick and choose uh, one of the API product and it is optional. As you can see now it is uh, not mandatory and uh, it's a ready button so you can pick and choose one of the API product. Similarly require selection of single API product then it's going to make it mandatory you have to pick one of the API product. Unless selection of multiple API products would and do not require any will, will allow you to pick multiple API products. Similarly the last one is required and uh, multiple API products. The next setting is API product widget. You can able to change uh, the widget uh, that will allow you to pick API products. You can make it as a select box and you can choose the default API products here. The next setting is related to uh, API product cache settings. By default, all the API products are cached in Apache Drupal based developer portal so that we can avoid the round trip to Apache Edge to fetch the API products. If you want to disable the cache, then you can uncheck this option. And if you want to rebuild the API product cache every time when the cron runs in developer portal, you can check this option. If you uncheck the both the options, then whenever user or developer visits uh, the add app creation page, then API call will be made uh, to the Apache Edge to fetch all the API products. The application UI settings is used to change the terminology that we use in developer portal. For example, if instead of calling developer app, you want to call it as developer API or key, you can use this option. For example, if I change it to API and say, click on save changes and go back to add app form, then I'm going to see add API instead of add app. The next setting is related to callback URL settings. Uh, that is related to this callback URL field. For example, if you don't want that field and you want to disable it, you can use callback URL is neither required nor displayed. App performance setting is related to uh, developer app analytics that will be displayed in developer portal. If you don't want to display analytics related to developer app, then you can check this option. If you want to display it, you can check this option and uh, select various settings. Credential lifetime is uh, related to how long the API keys are valid whenever an app uh, gets created. So you can specify the lifetime of API keys associated with the apps and click on save changes. If you have any questions, uh, please post your questions in community.apache.com. Thank you for watching this video.